Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 2 Finals of Blood Bowl 3. We have got Galentio and his Elven Union team versus Kiander and his Imperial Nobility team. And in the booth with me is the man, the myth, the legend, Sir Dimmy G. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, with your favourite knobs. It's... it's uh, it's knobs. Are you happy to see knobs? I'm always happy to see knobs to me. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, it's funny this because I actually you, you were saying you've taken a similar build. Uh, this art came up with his, with this exact build for this tournament, and uh, but I actually preferred Chris's build. I preferred the uh, six guard. Good because it's got mighty blow. Um, mm. and then oh hang on, he's got a thrower. I wouldn't take a thrower. Yeah, no, it's it's not the same. It's not the same. Oh well. Is that, that's leader, isn't it? That's how he's yeah. got the thirteenth player because we've got the leader thrower. Yeah, yeah, no, this is. But this is like you have to have you have to have the leader thrower to get thirteen players in eleven fifty, which yeah. is eleven fifty. I don't think is enough knob, sadly. Mm. Well, it's it's like the rubbish team, isn't it? I don't like this from Kiander, not not giving himself the blocks. I guess it was to. Uh, to ensure Oh, you definitely safety. want the mighty blow hit. Yeah, you definitely want... Oh, I guess... It, is he blitzing with the ogre? I guess he is, yeah. I guess it was for safety versus the, the pelf, you know, onslaught. You want slot. a free dice. You want a free... Yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah. Just for... You definitely want a 3D with the ogre and not a 2D. I would have just beaten off the guy on the LOS. You know, then you've got a 3D. Yeah, yeah. Clear the LOS guy. But I would have still set up for more hits on the LOS. Fails the pickup, doesn't re-roll. I think that's kind of fair. Yeah, he's yeah. it's got his screens. Because it's really hard to hit this guy, isn't it? Because he's got no guard, so... Um, Galentio here, the the crouchy guys are the blitzers. One dodge, one tackle. Uh, so, they're like, a blodger. And then he's got two catchers with just dodge. One catcher with just wrestle. Throw his sure hands and align with sneaky kick. Twelve players, no apple. Um... It's, I'll be honest with you, it's not my favourite team. I just don't think Proyles are a very good choice in this tournament. But it's just so bash heavy, especially with like overtime and in like the best team in it, Underworld, are like a removal machine, aren't they? So it's like... Mm. And they're going to be fouling you like every turn. Like Proyles just don't deal with fouling very well. Not that anyone <laughs> really does, but... I mean, Dwarves probably handle it a bit better than most things. Very passive yeah. turn from Glenio. Little yeah. surprise. Yeah, so am I. He's normally very aggro. Um, oh yeah, this is a good way to tell them. The uh, the Blitzers have got the blonde hair and the Catchers have got the white hair. So there you go. That's how you can tell them apart if you're struggling. Yeah, that's the thing as well. Is like the Catchers just getting one skill. It's... Yeah, it's just not like enough, block. is it? You know. Like, yeah. What's it called? Uh, Dark elves can have like five or six blodgers. That's just like That's way it. better. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way yeah. better. Blodger or Roger? Yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's a 3D with the ogre. Lovely, lovely I'd jubbly. Love, I'd love to see it. Yep. Yeah. Hello, Torak. Hello, Sith Trooper. Hello, Daboomer. Real Blood Bowl team. Do you mean the knobs? <laughs> Of course he does. Of course he does. There's no way he could be in anything else. <laughs> Some people like Elven Union, you know. Yeah, I, I love Elven Union. <laughs> I love playing against them. Hey. In my own beds and absolutely smashing the granny out of them. So do I. Honestly, like badly coached Pro Elves is my favourite opponent. Oh, when they score in two turns and you're like, I am just going to beat you up for 14 turns. This is going to be glorious. It's so good. Yeah. My first ever game of Blood Bowl was uh, against Pro Elves. Like on tabletop. On tabletop. Mm. I can't remember what my first ever, ever game of Blood Bowl was. It was obviously when I was a kid. So I don't remember. Diced. But yeah, my first ever tabletop game was against the guy called Everybody's Dead Dave. <laughs> and I absolutely killed everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it was brilliant. <laughs> and the funniest thing was that at the time I told him it was my first ever game of tabletop. Which I did say tabletop. <laughs> Not, like, 
I didn't tell him about the other 5,000 online games that I played beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ogre! What a nice one. The classic set everything up, relying on the relying on yeah. the dodge, and then have it fail. Love to see it. I thought he might have done a chain, right? But I don't know what it achieves. But I guess he looked at this chain, but I don't think it achieves anything. Yeah, and the ogre bonehead allows him to uh, sidestep on the ball. If there's one thing people who play pro Elves love. It's putting sidestep on the ball. Yeah, yeah. That's basically why they're playing on uh Elven Union honestly, like it's that seems was, to be the defining was... factor. Oh, oh wow. Especially. Huge cars and no apple. That sticks. Yeah, and that's a guard or isn't it? Yeah. Body yeah, guard, body guard, yeah that's it? really sad for Kanda. Kevin Costner bites the dust. <laughs> Kevin Costner. Amazing. <laughs> Well, no, I called him Kevin Costa because he's a bodyguard. Ah! Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, well, he clears the oh. sidestepper. Doesn't get him. Wrestle. Good skill, isn't it, Wrestle? Oh, it's fantastic. Didn't turn over. Didn't, didn't take an armor roll. Turn five, absolutely zero penetration. Ooh. Gets sent off on his first foul. Oh my god. Yeah. Two players down versus the armor 17. <laughs> this, honestly, this is why I don't. Like, I'm not taking a dirty player on my team. Yeah, I, I was completely wrong, by the way. My team is nothing like Ken. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've got a block ogre and I've got four bludgers. Right. Uh, it's an imperial ability guard. team. And, 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 yeah, and, and yeah. that's the limit. <laughs> yeah, that's about right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, I have the superior colour team as well. I mean, green and yellow. You can't play knobs that aren't green and yellow. Fair enough. Oh, Dwight. Yeah, he's getting nowhere, is he? Oh, my mm -hmm. God. I think this is just turtle for the nil nil at this stage. Almost. You've got to think about it, haven't you? you got to think about yeah. it. Like, trying to rescue, rescue oh, this guard. Yeah, I don't like it. I prefer rescuing this guard and then yeah. pulling, pulling your team closer oh, together. Oh, and he's going to get himself surfed as well. Holy shit. Oh, oh God. The conga line. Oh, oh no! God, I think he might be suffering from thinking Imperial nobility can't get set. He did this <laughs> against the lizards, didn't he? Like yeah. just, I don't know. I mean, he's, I get, like, he's getting surfed, isn't he? Hundred percent. I mean, if you if you compare this to how Crucifer played his nobility, Cruz was like urgent with the progression, right? Like mm. if you watch Cruz's games, oh my God, he surfed him, yeah. Yeah. Surf the yeah. orb and then he can surf the ball as well. He didn't follow? He didn't follow. Oh, and then just dodge out and blitz the leader, yeah, oh my god. Oh, but he made yeah. the removal on that. Oh, no, I, I, I yeah. wouldn't. So, what I would have done. <laughs> um, where, where was he? He was like this, right? Before that block, I would have just, I would have just blitzed this guy and surfed the ball. Oh, before that block, but that's mm. a 1D, isn't it? Yeah. I guess he can dodge through for a 2D. No, I guess, no, you do this one first, and then you yeah, got you the assist. Yeah, you can't dodge through, because you have to move him into the square that... Yeah, 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 he did, he did it the yeah. right way, but he yeah, should have followed. Right. Yeah, he should have yeah. followed, but then the removal meant that he couldn't do it anyway, but he should have definitely followed. But then it's, a, there's, you, you need to cancel the, the, the lino behind, don't you? Yeah, well, you've got you've got a guy, you know, and you've got players to react. The thing is, the earlier you no, surf no, no, the ball, you have you've to, got players you to, to react. You have to you have to cancel that line. Yeah, I know, but you've got players, haven't you? I mean, he's got loads of players. This is probably why Kianda is uh, not he's winning this game. <laughs> yeah, he's got all five players that can act. Yeah, but yeah, I, I guess surfing the ogre, oh, surfing the ogre is, is safer, and then follow, and then a hundred percent follow, and then you'd have just been unlucky removing. But it's safe. Thick skull saved the ogre there. Is it? Yeah. It's, it always uh, says thick skull, whether it saves them or not. So uh, you've actually got to like look at the dice log to see if it did anything, which I was. It's a feature, not a bug. Mm. It's a feature. 
Lots of good features in this game. Oh, so many features, Jim. <laughs> All the features. I don't like this so much. Yeah, what is that? <coughs> what is that? Have you heard of goal side in football? Because, uh, <laughs> it applies to Blood Bowl too, funnily enough. Um, I would just, I would have just not retagged. I would have, I would have sent him down as a full canoring threat. Honestly, oh, I, would have, I, I would have, I would have had a catcher here. Um, oh yeah, he's got no scoring for it. Yeah, maybe that is that is actually quite a misplay to be fair. He's still got two turns though, so he gets to move. Oh no, okay, okay. Yeah, it's yeah it's, well it wasn't a misplay, I would have just rather had him down there free. And then it just gets scary for the knobs, doesn't it? Because if they try things it can oh. go wrong. I mean this is terrifying. This is oh, yeah, like this is... he's got no play. he's getting absolutely smashed there. Yeah. yeah. And a few it was a few turns ago, wasn't it? Is probably when he should have change to just trying to get out of it at nil nil yeah it's a it's a shit choice to have to make it was the ogre blitz down the line that was yeah rent, like it was just yeah that was kind of suicide wasn't it? yeah and so even before then he maybe should have made the call to like give up on the score but he definitely should have should have you know given up when rather than make that blitz yeah that blitz should have been rescuing the guard in the middle and stuff and and the lineman that was there Players there. Now he's got no players left. <laughs> that foul. See, this is like, uh, you, see, you just can't afford to foul. Like, it's... unless it's like a really good, like who? I can't remember who he did foul. Was it? Was it the sidestep? Oh, it might have been the sidestep. Maybe. So now you want to make a conga line, right? So now, what's the absolute optimal turn here? You can surf this guy if you want. But like with about five players, probably what you want is the two catchers in the end zone, right? Oh my god! <laughs> and then like these two, you know, like making kind of like a line to to them yeah, to get yeah, into yeah. the you scatter catcher. Yeah. Mm, that's that's, but like a three D here to surf is all right, isn't it? To be fair, maybe that's to better. To be fair, than, maybe that's better than uh, having a massive grid of. Uh, he could have 3D'd, right? He could have... Oh, no, he couldn't follow because he's... Uh... Oh, he oh couldn't follow because it was a lineman. That's why he didn't follow because it was bloody Fend. Fend's OP, Jimmy. You knew it. You know what? You know when, when I said I'd hit the surf, the the the, uh, the ogre, and then that's why he couldn't follow the ogre hit, wasn't it? Because it was Fend. <laughs> Fend's OP. He couldn't do it. <laughs> he couldn't do it, bloody Fend. And then he surfed him anyway. It's fair enough me forgetting Fend, Jimmy, but you shouldn't forget Fend. You're a knob I, expert. I, uh, I, I, I just struggle to know who the players are. To be fair. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's fair. Hello, Christopher B. I mean, it's it's it is good the the way that knobs build in the sense that the bodyguards have guards, so you can at least tell who they are, like <laughs> yeah. from, from a distance. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, is that his blitzer that stayed out? He's got a tackle blitzer that stayed out. Oh, yeah, his best, his best player stayed out. Where's his other blitzer? Oh, it's the blodger there. Yeah, and he's he's down to ten men as well, and he's he's done this again, sim similar setup to Plotinus with the really weak, really weak points. I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, I mean, one of them staying firm and one of them splodge. It's no, yeah, um, but offset LOS is better, right? Yeah, I I I prefer the offset when um, you're not one nil down on their drive though. Well, it's just harder to break through because the 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 offset LOS shows up the defense a bit, right? Oh, he didn't even take the hits on the LOS anyway, did he? No, he's he's doing a half. Uh, if, if if he offset, he could have bloody just put the three guys on one side, right? Mm. And then just ignored all three hits. He wouldn't have had to dodge. I love mm. the fact that he took none of the LOS hits and still got an armor break. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Yeah. It's funny because Galentio, you know, is a is a pal of Chunter's and is a, is a disciple of the school of Chunter, and I think that's why he hates Dakers. He must hate Dakers because he never does them. But now this is like a half Dakar, isn't it? It's weird. I mean, honestly, if I'm if I'm Galentio in this matchup, because I'm one 0 up, I'm banging it in and probably winning. Like you know, like two 0 is just so good. Like I say, banging it in. Oh, I would set up to be in scoring range as quickly as possible. And then obviously, if I can stall, I would stall. But like, I wouldn't take massive risks. Like, 
Because at any point, 2 0 pretty much kills this. Yeah, I would set up to turtle, and then if I got the chance, I would push through. Yeah, oh, push maybe. through. Yeah, it's a similar kind of thing. You can score any turn, can't you? If you score on any single turn, you just win at this point. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah. So, very a lot of freedom for the elves to play however they want. And um, oh my! Wow, goodness. this was a bit rubbish. It was a bit um, rubbish, wasn't it? And like the other thing is as well is like what you've got to bear in mind is your opponent will be desperate because they will realise that they're one nil down and they'll probably play rowdier. Well, yeah, normal. it's hard because they have to yeah. pressure enough, but then you know, and then to pressure they've You're gonna necessarily leave gaps, got uh, to yeah. leave cover. Yeah, they've got to leave gaps in the cover to to pressure harder. But he's gonna get a one D with wrestle here. He's found. He's found the one D. Yeah, I like going for it. Yeah, he's got nothing. Like it's the same thing. It's the same position that other knob coaches were in in a, the same competition. Mm. I think you know that the, the game state. Oh, I think you should GFI. Yep, yep. I think the, the game state is that you're just losing, so you have to, you have to do these kind of plays. I think people are like maybe he's too used to like playing on ladder where they don't really have to make those plays because their opponent will probably fuck it up anyway <laughs> yeah and like it's not yeah but in these your opponents aren't gonna fuck it up so you have to uh you have to go for those kind of things i think is this a part oh, this is hand a... off oh my god it's run through also, oh, it was no. a pass. Yeah, he uses his pass and then he hands off and then he runs down. And, uh... God, this is sadness. <laughs> sadness can you. <laughs> well, that's nice, Christopher B. Yeah, I, I loved Silver Helm. I like that shape, actually. I quite like yeah. that shape. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, I like the shape. Pretty nice. I love my Silver Helms. What? <laughs> I love my silver helms. They're a uh, Warhammer. Yeah, they're, elves. they're the cheap cavalry, aren't they? Yeah, I love I love my silver helms. <laughs> they they were part of my rubbish army that I made. I made a, a rubbish army to play people in Games Workshop because you know, if if I had made a good army, everyone would cry about how I was, you know, a power gamer and stuff. Power gamer, Mister mm. Fantastic. Not that I think there's anything wrong with power gaming. I think that's completely how everybody should play, and then everyone's on the same page, right? Oh, I don't know, Jim. Yeah. Barrack Underworld can be pretty miserable. Five times in a row on a Saturday that you've travelled <laughs> half the country to get there to. I'll tell you, I'll tell you on Saturday. After <laughs> I've played three games of versus Underworld and three games of versus bloody vampires. <laughs> And I'm I'm zero zero six or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely uh Gadenic setup here from Galencho. You can see my uh, setup guide on my YouTube, there you go. I mean, with eleven players is Chevron's just not better here. Yeah, I uh, think a two 0 up, you you just don't want him to score at all, so yeah, just Chevron. Yeah, yeah, just Chevron's. I I feel like I feel like in this competition people's setups have surprised me and or just not been what I would have thought I would have thought they'd be more solid in their setup choices it's interesting isn't it yeah particularly yeah. the one turn the one turn setups of uh of like you know yeah, trying like both to one turn. offensively and defensively yeah. have been lackluster yeah yeah one of them that I don't believe we've got to on the uh on the thing oh, was a mistake okay. and he, he just said he thought it was overtime and stuff, that's why. That's why one of the setups was terrible and then you know, I mean, somebody else made a terrible mistake, okay. but it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Yeah, running past pressure. him. Ooh. Running past Oh he's running nice. There's, there's a lot of playoff nerves, you know, like it aren't I mean, really yeah, not yeah, playoff yeah. nerves, but it's totally a thing. It totally And like totally the money honestly the money must add pressure to it because it's mm -hmm. like like there's actually something on the line. It's not just like chalice where it was like bragging rights or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's not just the ultimate prestige of being a Blood Bowl legend. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, people do it for the love of the game, don't they? Like, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, this is like, I mean, uh, it's not life changing, right? But it's a big old chunk of money. Like, is it like two grand or something for the winner? Yeah, two grand for the winner. Yeah. Like that is a substantial amount of money. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny because you know, you know, like somebody like uh, Charlie Sheen or somebody. Don't know who it was. And they said like. You know, poor people or normal people or something. He said, like always, say uh, like uh, you know, uh, uh, oh, life changing the amount of money. Yeah. No, no, it's something like you know, if you get fined, like well, me getting fined a grand is uh, it's just the same as them getting fined a tenner, but it isn't. A grand is still a grand. <laughs> so he's you know, even with loads of money, they're still. Oh what? Because he's like a millionaire. Yeah, Charlie Sheen, isn't he? Yeah. No, yeah, he'd be well rich. Right? Mm. I don't think it is the same. Honestly, if you've only got a hundred quid and you get fined a tenner, and you've got a hundred grand and you get fined ten grand, I think it's a lot worse if you've only got a hundred quid. Yes, so do I. But it was funny that he still cared about getting fined a, a grand. <laughs> yeah, and then it's like, what are you getting fined for? Being an absolute knobhead as well. Isn't it? So. Yes, true. But it was just be, interesting like, that he still cared about the grand. That was the point. The point was he yeah. still cared about the grand, even well, most though. Most successful people do, don't they? Yeah. So there you go. So you know. So even if, even if Charlie Sheen was playing, I don't even know if it's Charlie Sheen. Even yeah. if Charlie Sheen was playing this tournament, he'd still want to win the two grand. So there you go. <laughs> That's why it's so brutal. It's so brutal. Like it's so brutal for the guys that lost the first round. Right? Mm. Or the, is it the first? Is it the first two rounds? Is yeah, it? first two. Whoever loses this game yeah. will have lost the first two rounds and be out at 0-2. <laughs> that grand would cover his cocaine for the next yeah. hour. Yeah. If, <laughs> if you go into the loser's bracket and you win the first game, do you get money or do you have to win two games in the loser's bracket? Uh, now you're asking, Dimmy. Um, You've got to win two, I think, in the losers bracket because this only limits four people, right? The people who two four people go zero and two, so you've you've got to win two. You've got to win two in the losers bracket to get the money. Or it depends where you drop into the losers bracket. Actually, you've yeah. got to win two games in the tournament to to make the money. I think. Yeah. It hasn't even been a game, really, is it? It's just it hasn't. No, it's been, it's been a bit of a dicing, hasn't it? Like, but I think you know, at some point there was, there was some play, right? Like the the, the putting the over on. The, it wasn't just a dicing that he's lost. Like it hasn't just been no, damage like, and stuff. It was, Galinto yeah. did did get lucky with the damage that he made early, but I think there was also decisions like Kian Dersh, as you said. You know that that was the time where he should have switched to just trying to get out of the half at nil nil. And if he had and didn't have his ogre surf and everything, and maybe you know if he'd done some more hits and you know maybe he could have got out of this at nil nil, and then if he gets out at nil nil, then you know maybe that puts the pressure on Galentio to score and stuff, and then maybe he gets out of the second half at one one, and you know maybe things happen, but he did have rough dive, but there was definitely play involved as well. Fuck me. J5 comfortable in the moment. This kettle roller This is this is Galentio's USB, by the way. Just just base with a blood stepper and hope for the best. Which it's not the worst plan in the world, but it. Uh... Oh mate, I I played Amazon today. It is the worst plan in the world. I can confirm. <laughs> Everything dead. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know J5. Quite a few. <laughs> oh, he's, he's done the, the jump. jump! And he's down. KO. I don't know why he jumped. It was just literally worse than dodging. Yeah, it's probably he was winning two 0 when he just. He just did it for a laugh. I think so. I think so. I think he did. Yeah. yeah I mean, well, I would probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 well, there you go. Thank you, Galantio, for the the pointless jump. Brilliant. Um, 
And yeah, so there you go. Interesting. I guess you know, Key and I could watch that back and and you know think about think about what he's done. <laughs> and yeah. and uh, you know, like yeah, the dice yeah. were rough, but he he could definitely have done things as well. So there you go. Congratulations, Galentio lives to fight another day. Key and Air goes out with an own two record. Um, thank you very much, Dimmy G, for joining me in the booth. Thank you for having me, Jimmy. For and seeing the end of your knobs. Uh, <laughs> knobs OP. Knobs OP. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, thanks for watching and stay fantastic.